Hey guys, what's happening? It's Mig here from Max Beats with a new tutorial for you. So check it out. How much does it suck to learn key commands? It sucks, especially when you've spent months, maybe years, mastering the ones that you already know to then have to learn a whole new set of key commands. This is what happened when I upgraded from Logic Pro 9 to Logic Pro X. I had to learn the new Logic Pro X key commands. Or did I? No, I didn't. So here's what I did. I exported my Logic Pro 9 key commands from a copy of Logic Pro 9 that I had running on one of my computers, and I imported them into Logic Pro X. It's really easy to do, and I've also provided those key commands for you in a file in the description below. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this right now, and that's it. Let's do this. All right, guys, so this is super simple. It's only going to take a few minutes to do this, and make sure after watching this that you download the um, key commands file that I've provided for you in the description below. You're going to need that when you do this, unless you have your own. Some of you um, may have gotten rid of your Logic 9 installations after upgrading the Logic X and didn't think about exporting your key commands. But luckily for you, I still have a Logic 9 installation on one computer still running. Okay, so I'm in a session right now called 3 a.m. It's one of my new beats, actually, that's on uh, on this channel here. I just uploaded last week using it to show you how um, the key commands will work after you've imported. So first thing I'm going to do is go to um, key commands, and I'm going to select just a different key command setup here. All right, so now my zoom functions, which usually are control option, and then the arrows left and right are not working since I've take it out my nine key commands. So as you can see, I'm getting all this like flashing and errors up in the right hand corner. It's not a, um, that's not the key command that I normally use for this. But um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna navigate to my, my um, key commands preferences here. So up in the left hand corner, you're going to click where it says Logic Pro X. You're gonna go down to key commands and you're gonna go to edit. Next, what you're going to do is go right over here, you click this little wheel, and you're going to scroll down to import key commands. Very simple. So now I'm going to navigate to the desktop where my file is, where I've, I've saved my key command file, and it's right here, logic9keycommands.logickcs, okay? I'm going to open that. That's the same file I'm giving you guys. I'm going to open that, and once I do... We should be back to uh, back to where we uh, want to be. So let me just make sure. Go here. Let me close this out. And now I am using my Logic Nine key commands. This is the same function that was giving me errors just a few minutes before. So that is really it. That's all it takes. You don't have to do anything else. Just scroll up, like I said, up to here where it says Logic Pro X. Come down to key commands. Go to edit. Go over here to the wheel, import, grab the file wherever you put it. Mine's on the desktop, and that's it. I'm, I'm going to cancel it since I've already done it. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, please like the video, comment on the video, tell me what else you might want to learn, share the video, and subscribe to this channel. Also, check out my website, maxbeats.com. That's www.maxxbeats.com for uh, more tutorials on my blog. I have beats. I have drum kits. I have all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's it. This is Mr. Mig. Peace out. Later.